Our topic in this Sage Pastel Accounting lesson is the procedure followed to complete the bank reconciliation statement. So the first step in our procedure would be to compare the current bank statement with the previous month's bank reconciliation. You need to check if the bank has credited outstanding deposits, check which outstanding checks have been cashed, and if the bank has corrected any errors that may have occurred on the previous statement. We start off with a debit or credit balance as shown in the bank statement. The closing balance in the bank statement becomes the opening balance in the bank reconciliation statement. Our second step would be to compare the cash receipt journal against the credit side of the bank statement. Remember that the relationship between the business and the bank is one of creditor and debtor. A debit in our book would be a credit in the bank's book. Next, we compare the cash payment journal against the debit side of the bank statement. Again, the credit in our book would be a debit in the bank's book. So now let's practice what we've learnt in this example. The following information is taken from the books of Park Stores on 31 May 2015. Study the information and only draw up the bank reconciliation statement for 31 May 2015 to explain the differences between the balance of the bank account and the bank statement. This is the information that they give us. The bank statement received on the 31st of May 2015 in respect of Park Stores shows a favourable balance of 34,000 Rand in the bank. Now this is important. Because we do a bank reconciliation from the point of view of the bank, the balance is a liability in their books. Therefore it increases on the credit side and decreases on the debit side. If they say that we have a favourable bank balance, it means that the bank balance would now be on the credit side. 34,000 credit balance according to the bank statement. Our next bit of information is that after having recorded and taken into account several items appearing on the bank statement but not in our cash journals, our bank account now shows a credit balance of 12,900 Rand. A credit balance in our books means that it is an overdraft balance. So we take that balance right to the end of our bank reconciliation statement. We will say credit balance according to bank account. It is a credit balance shown on the credit side of 12,900 meaning that for the bank it was a favourable balance, but in our books it is an unfavourable balance. Our next piece of information is that it is also discovered that a deposit of 21,800 Rand has not yet been brought into account by the bank. Remember when we put deposits into the bank, that is something that would increase the bank's account. Therefore, we put it onto the credit side of the reconciliation statement. We will write there that it is a credit of an outstanding deposit of 21,800 Rand. Our next piece of information tells us that the following checks were issued and recorded in the cash payments journal, but the recipients had not cashed them as yet. This is check number B. 115 for 67,400 Rand and check number B189 for 17,400 Rand. If the recipients have not cashed them yet, this means that the bank does not know about them yet. So therefore, they are outstanding in the bank's records and so we put it into the bank reconciliation as a debit. A debit because we want to decrease our bank records with the outstanding checks. What will you do if the checks are not cashed within the next six months? Now remember, the lifespan of a check is six months. After six months, the check gets old, or as we call it, stale. 
This check must then be cancelled in our books. We cancel it by using the cash receipt journal to cancel the check that appeared in the cash payment journal a few months back. Our last piece of information says that as the bank reconciliation statement still does not balance, the bank statement is again examined. A careful analysis reveals two mistakes on the bank statement. A deposit made by Park Traders into their own account was incorrectly added to our account by the bank. The amount is 2,600 Rand. Now, we are not Park Traders. We are Park Stores. Originally, the 2,600 was a deposit, so the bank would have put it on the increasing side. In other words, the credit side. So if we want to take it out, we need to take it out on the opposite side, which is debit. We are also told that a stop order signed by Parkey Stores for 18,700 Rand in respect of rental was incorrectly deducted on our bank statement. Again, we are park stores, not parkey stores. It was deducted, so the bank would have put it in as a debit entry. But now we want to cancel it, so we will credit it. So the first one, 2,600 Rand, is taken out of the account, as it was previously added, and the second, 18,700, is added back into the account, as it was previously taken out. So now we're going to credit the amount incorrectly debited and debit the amount that was incorrectly credited. Let's see whether we are balanced or not. After adding up the debit side, we get an amount of 87,400. And after adding up the credit side, we get an amount of 87,400. So it does balance. Therefore, we know that our bank account has been reconciled with that of the bank statement. So, let's summarize. Remember these easy five steps to bank reconciliation. Step 1. Enter the debit or credit balance as per the bank statement. Step 2. Compare the bank statement with the last month's bank reconciliation statement. Step 3. Debit outstanding checks. The checks issued but not presented by closing of bank statement remain in the bank reconciliation statement until cashed. Step 4. Credit outstanding deposits. Deposits made after closing of bank statement are reflected as credits. And Step 5. Correct errors made by the bank. Debit and incorrect credit and credit and incorrect debit end with a debit or credit balance as per the bank statement. Time now to test what you've learnt in this lesson with a series of multiple choice questions. Each question will appear for five seconds and then the answer will be revealed. Keep a check to see how many you get right. Are you ready? How did you do? Remember, the only way to do better is practice, practice, practice.